Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. Hey, I'm filling in for James from Fit RV, and I don't know where the heck he is. So, what? Ah. Oh, there he is, James. Look, three years in the making. I made your motorhome. I know. Because I know you want to be on the bike circuit with your twenty thousand dollar bike. My bike has gotten more expensive. You know, that's like a that's like a five or six body van, don't you think? Oh, at least, yeah. You can put 10 people in there. 10 bodies, stack them up, no did, problem. Did you test that at the factory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on. Okay, hey everyone, it's James. And Stephanie, and we're getting video bombed <laughs> by that goofball. <laughs> So we are here today to go over the Leisure Travel Vans, their latest wonder floor plan with a bike garage. With a bike garage. And we're so happy that, that someone's finally listened. So yes. Very proud of Leisure for being the first to bring it over to North America. Yeah, you see these all over the place in Europe. Yes. But this is the first one here. Uh -huh. I'm pretty excited to take a look. So let's go look. All right, let's go. Come on. And let's commence with the arm waving. There we go. I actually work out to be able to do that. <laughs> um, so one of the things we like about leisure is how they pay attention to the little things. Like that light. That's a, one little thing. And then look how, see the lines in the body and they carry them back into uh, that the... that horizontal indent. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't just put a yeah. curve on there. They nice actually touch. try to match. Exterior light, but they don't just put a chrome light on there. They actually mm -hmm. paint it to yeah, match like the rest of the Yeah, it's like built in. I like that. Yeah. So here we have uh, retracting exterior stairs. When you're put into camp, you can actually make them stay out. Oh, and look, there's lights behind that handle. That's going to be handy at night. And it's another nice touch. Very handy. So now those are vents for an absorption refrigerator. Mm. And we're not generally big yeah, fans. We're more compressor people, but yeah. hey, they make up with this, this generator. That's it's right. pretty nice. 3,600 watt. That's a full 30 amps. Right. For but that, that is an option. That's an option. That, so. that big old generator. All right. Yeah. So awning style windows. Very nice. And these are standard, actually. These alloy wheels on the Ford transit huh, so okay. that on a lot of coaches that would be like an upgrade or an option but here they're standard and here we have wow. the entire reason we are review this here is the entire reason we started the fit rv website it pretty much is and, and <laughs> now here it is the bike garage we wanted someone to make a bike garage so that we could take our bikes with us well if this is what we made our website for does that mean we should just be done <laughs> are we done with the website now no our no. work is done here <laughs> So this is plenty big enough for bikes, as you can see, because I'm in there. Right. Oh, I like this. This is you actually can get inside the coach from that little. Well, I don't know if you can there. crawl through there. Well, you can get your hand in and access inside. Which the coach. you need to, because when we see that from the inside, that's very deep. And there's some organized OB. That's right. Netting and. And that's organized OB as well. If you'd like to order some organized OB accessories for yourself, <laughs> come to the Fit RV website and use our discount code. Uh, <laughs> shameless plug yeah so now that tray that we were on mm -hmm. i'm walking all over that thing very heavy duty we were pulling that out with bodies on it and, yes and it could handle it no problem so now these lights here this is a multiplex coach and those lights are on the multiplex system okay also want to point out look above my head see all that welded aluminum yes it's very very sturdy very well built it's oh. not just screws and sticks all right so now this is where the batteries are going to be okay so these are just uh you know Six volt, they're six volt batteries. I looked that up, but they're hmm. just a lead Two acid batteries, golf cart batteries. So Leisure does not currently have a lithium offering. Hint, hint, yes. nudge, nudge. <laughs> um, I guess that's our next challenge. We need to stick around <laughs> on the Fit RV just to make sure we do that next. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I quickly pointed out a uh, backup camera there, which you need because there's no windows. And this is um, a trailer hitch now receiver. Look at that, it's very small. Uh, yeah, it's small. It's only a class one hitch. Huh. It's uh, so that you can't overload the coach by towing really? something really big. So you're not pulling a car with this no, one? No, no, not oh. with that hitch. Okay. You're not going to. All right. And they do that on purpose. Hmm. Um, so now over here on the driver's side, it's the other side of the pass-through storage yeah, compartment. Yeah, I like, I like the access on both sides. Yeah, we could both be getting bikes out at the same time. Yeah, a lot more functional. Yep. Uh, standard 30-amp shore power connection there. Okay. And here I'm showing you the exhaust for the generator, and it's not directly underneath the window. I always like to point that out yeah. because sometimes that just gets kind of overlooked. Right. This is just a standard exterior storage compartment. Uh, like all the exterior compartments on Leisure's, it's carpeted, and there's foam underneath, it's mm -hmm. galvanized metal. So this one now is not storage. This is going to take some explanation. A lot of stuff in here. All right. We're going to start up in the upper right with that yellow uh, propane connection and a bleeder valve right there. Below that is a connection for a black tank flush. 
There next to it are cable and satellite hookups, switch for the macerator, we'll see that in a moment, propane shutoff, and a switch for the water pump. Now you'll need the water pump for that. It's an exterior shower, hot and cold. Okay. And that way you don't have to go inside to turn the pump on. Um, winterization valve, and there is a selector for the one water hookup on this coach. You can either fill the tank or you can use the water in the coach. So you fill the tank or the connection is right there. You're meant to pass it up through this hole, a hose, and connect it into that orange and brass thing right there. And that's a nice little bend for your hose so you're not kinking your hose. Right. So it's a and, nice touch. And it lets you keep that compartment closed when oh, you're yeah. at camp. Sure. So it's not all hanging out there. All right, so now this is going to take a little uh, looking. So there's a gray tank, a black tank dump, but the valves, the, the blade, you know, the handles are tucked back in there quite a ways. I don't know if you can oh. see them. They're kind of way back in All there. All right, so I wonder why they're tucked back so far. I don't know. If I had to guess, I'd say it was to make room for the macerator pump. You okay. can reach them. There, I'm reaching them. I got yeah, a hand on them. It's a little bit of a pain, but... A little bit further back than maybe on some other coaches. Okay. Um, but it is equipped with a macerator. There it is, and the macerator is right here, which is interesting because on this coach, there's also a macerating toilet. Yeah, so that's kind of, right. So it's kind of redundant, isn't it? <laughs> well, but this macerator will allow you to dump, like, even a little bit uphill. Okay. And they do include a regular sewer hose in case, you know, the macerator isn't appropriate in right. or whatever. Got it. So there we go. That's the service center. Right above that, there is the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus. Ah, the Comfort Plus. So you've got the circulating hot water. Right. So basically nice. instant hot water if you nice. want it. At any tap, you've got there. So no waiting three minutes before oh, you can take a shower. Fabulous. And there is the uh, exhaust for the Suburban Furnace. I think that's a 16,000 BTU furnace. Okay. So up here now, I'm showing you the, uh, the where you would fill both the diesel and def. This is a diesel coach. It fills right there. And I like that they're color-coded. <laughs> no mistakes at the pump. And here we go. There's a Ford Transit chassis. So I'm going to do my best Dean here. Oh. This is a Ford Transit 3.2 liter inline five power stroke turbo diesel with 185 horsepower, mm -hmm. 350 foot-pounds of torque. <laughs> no. I, let's leave it for Dean. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I like to show the roof, but there was no ladder on this one, so I had to climb on another coach several coaches away and zoom in. So I'm sorry, it's a little shaky. I was standing up in the wind. Yeah, but holding. hey, at least you got it. So it's better than nothing. So interesting stuff on the roof. We got 200 watts of solar. That's an option. Right. You can also get 400 watts. And you see that dome right behind the skylight? That is a satellite dish. That's an option. But the dome behind it is not the one that says WineGuard. WineGuard Connect 2.0 Wi Fi booster, 4G capable. And that's standard. Huh? Standard. Nice. On that. Okay. And then behind that, behind the fan, there's a Dometic Penguin that is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. All right, we're going in. Yeah, so now we always like to show this shot of just walking in and looking around the coach. Yeah, you... just first impressions, too, and how it feels. And I always like a dinette up front, so I right away I like yep. that look. Yep. And it's very clean looking in there. There's not a lot of clutter. You know, there's not a lot of face frames and stuff. There's very clear, yeah. clean. Leisure always does a great job on overall design. Yeah, so. very kind of modern Euro sort of feel. Yep. Uh, so this is a rear twin bed floor plan, hence the... Uh, the RTB. Yep, checking out the lights right there. You'll notice a lot of up lighting and down lighting throughout this coach. Another great detail. Another one of those in. little things that they do. Yes. Okay, so now let's start back in the uh, back in the bedroom area. So, well, first off, the latch is. I like the clean look of no handle outside. It adds to that modern. Right. You don't see it when it's closed, but there is something there that you can grab to open. Yes. Yep. So now here, there's storage kind of up over the head of each bed, and those outlets. There's USB outlets, and then that white outlet there there's a sticker on it that says that the outlet is on the inverter. Okay, and what that means is that outlet's going to work when you're not plugged into anything, so that's, that's nice. That's right. You turn on the uh, inverter and those outlets will work. Yes. So, you know, there's a good, I don't know, what's that, four inches or so of space up there, and then there's another little compartment right there. So, I don't know, I don't care how many phones you have. There's, <laughs> They're going to fit. There's enough room Lots for of all of for your, your phones. phones. And your chapstick and, and whatever an iPad, else you iPad, a book, sure. a hat. <laughs> um, so, here we have uh, roller shades on each side, uh, and it doesn't flop around like that. There we go. There are little tabs. Yeah, to tuck them. To tuck back. So it doesn't flap and there's no gap. There. Right, gives you more privacy off the sides too. Yep. And now that those uh, shades are covering up a window that is an awning style window. That's right. how it opens. Yep, those little cranks there, they only open a couple inches, but you could have them open in the rain. That's yeah, nice. so here's here it is from the outside. So that's kind yeah. of what you get. It doesn't hit the door, which is good to know. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so there we go. That's the windows. Now, close them up, Steph. Thank you very much because the air conditioner was on. It was hot. So now we're over on the uh, the other side, and it's pretty much a mirror image. Yeah, this whole back area is very symmetrical. You get I the like same that. thing on both sides. <laughs> I like, there's no fighting. You over, do, yes. Over. <laughs> you would like that. Look, there's Dean. You see him outside? Ah. <laughs> the same shades, the same tabs, the same storage, oh, yeah, the same ledges, is. the same windows. So everybody gets the same thing. There's no fighting. Yes. This side's mine. Right. Well, that's I did have the TV. Oh, this side has a TV, right. Mm. And speaking of that TV, we did try. I tried to pull it out and see if it was adjustable. I couldn't figure it out. It's possible it is. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out either. And eventually I wound up yanking it off the wall and that was, I got it back on. But anyway, <laughs> so there's a little bit more storage up here. So I guess more whoever likes, likes TV more would get this side of the... The well, bed, there you go. And the reader would get the other side. All right. As for the comfort level, it was a good thick mattress there. It's and about... you know, it seems like RV manufacturers really are focusing on good, comfortable beds. And again, this one, this one's very, it's... you know, top, top of the line. Yeah. I liked it. It was comfortable. Yeah. Six inches there or so on, uh, on the bed. And the twin beds, they're, they're fairly decent. Now, the first thing, the first question we always get in the comments when we show a twin bed floor plan is, can you make it into one giant bed? And yes, you so can. So for you, here you go. It's as simple as unfolding that table and sliding them together. And I love that you don't have to carry any extra pieces, nothing stored away. So it's pretty simple to pull these two twin beds together. That's right. There's no puzzling things together. There's no extra cushion that you've got to use to take up a bunch of your storage space. There's no stupid table leg. It's not a pole. lot of effort to pull them together. Although I don't know that we would. I don't know because we're lazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then the other downside of this, I get it's pretty wide. So you see that you're five foot two or so. <laughs> and, I'm five six. And it's plenty wide width wise. There's, there's a little gap on the sides. Yeah. So if you're you self phone ever goes missing you owners <laughs> i'm gonna suggest you look down there there you go a rtb owner tip yes. from steph so anyway but that's uh that's the, that's the the beds so now to put it back there you go well, you move them and then you flip it back yeah oh the other disadvantage i was going to say hmm. of the uh, of the one bed is that you'll have to climb over your partner's feet Oh, yeah, to get you out started that to way. say that and you didn't. Right. So it's a lot more convenient just keeping the twins as they are. But hey, if you're newlyweds you just, or... <laughs> yeah, we would just send each other a memo that, yes, I still like you. <laughs> yes, but I'm going to go to sleep over here. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So that's the beds. Um, now for the ridiculous amount of storage under the bed. And I do mean ridiculous. And we will actually get ridiculous to show you exactly there how much. There is a ton. I, I don't know if this does it justice, how much storage there is in this thing. So first, the very back part is over the uh, the bike storage. And you can actually reach through to like that net and stuff yeah, from right there. So that's nice. You can access the back. But now each side has these two rather large storage compartments. And the one towards the rear is exceptional large and we're going to show you how large <laughs> so sometimes we like to rate the vans in terms of how many bodies you could store in them and you get an extra two besides the 10 in the back you get an extra two one under each bed that's yep. a full-size step <laughs> completely gone and so, you could get another full-size Steph next to it and two across. So you could get four bodies under those beds. That yeah. is a ton of storage. Stowaways are a real I can't imagine you would use all the storage that's no. available to you if you had this thing. So now this one, see there's a, a coat hook thing there. Yeah. Yeah, I actually might hang some things just because it's very deep and it would be right. a little inconvenient to get to something if you tried to stack things oh, in there. Wouldn't that be nice if we had that hanging space? Oh, yeah. We're coming from a van, so it's, we're not used to this. This to me looks like it would, would hold a cat litter box Ooh, interesting. very well. But how would he access it? Would uh, we'd, cut give, something? we'd give him a key, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> give him a key. <laughs> All right. So that's the storage under the twin bed on the TV There's side. a lot. And if you fill it all up, you need to go weigh your rig because yeah, there's I'd just a ton. Yeah. Um, so now there's another compartment here that you can get to even with the bed down and all the doors closed. So yet more storage. And it's all duplicated, as we said, over here on the driver's side. Right. Except this one has something interesting ah. that the other side didn't have. This has a 1,000-watt Xantrex pure sine wave inverter. Okay, so what does an inverter do? So an inverter takes the 12-volt power from the battery and converts it into the regular 120-volt household current 
alternating current that you know. That's a fresh tank drain down there, by the way. Um, so an inverter is useful for people who are going to do dry camping or, you know, like Walmart camping. Right. Okay. So now here's another little detail, the uplighting on the stairs. Yep. And down those stairs, you've got the split bath, you've got the shower on one side and the toilet and the sink on the other. That's right. We're coming from a van, so that would be a big luxury for sure. us. Sure. Yeah. So now I want to point out that door. You can kind of close it and it latches to make a master suite. Yeah. So one of you could be in the back half, the other up front. And if you get sick of each other, you've got that separation. That would never happen. Uh, sure. sure. <laughs> so here I am in the shower, and uh, we love those shower doors. I don't yeah. know why. Well, I think it's, yeah, they're just simple and yeah. low maintenance. Plenty of height in the shower. I'm 5'10-ish, and we saw the skylight on it from the outside, so plenty of room in there. There's a little towel bar instead of a, a clothesline like I added in ours. Yeah, and the fixtures seem nice, too. Yep, there there's uh, plenty of room in there for all of my hair products. <laughs> <laughs> All of someone's hair brush. Yes. And a grab bar so you can shower while you're going down the highway. Just, <laughs> what? Just kidding. Don't ever, ever do that. That's crazy. Um, across the hall from that, we have the uh, the other part of the bathroom. And like I said, this is a split bath, so it would be very luxurious for us coming from a van. Yeah, a little bit of storage there. Towel racks there. There's very even nice. more storage. I, I, yeah. We didn't quite get a shot of it. Little kind of corner cubbies okay. right there. Right. That's a china toilet. Oh, and it's, it's diagonal. Also, Interesting. Yeah, it's also a macerating toilet. I'll show that in just a sec. Oh, okay. But first, let's have a look at these fixtures. They're very modern, clean-looking fixtures. I've been seeing a lot of this in leisure vans that, uh, what do you call that kind of They're horizontal? Adjustable, track mount kind yeah. of stuff. Mm -hmm. That is another, uh, that's a multiplex control panel. Wireless. You could theoretically move that anywhere. No. That is not a medicine cabinet. Yeah, look at that. It's just a wall behind. Well, it's a it's a wall so that you can block off that window. So if someone oh, yeah. next to you inconsiderately puts their slide out so that it's like three inches from your bathroom, oh, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> you can close it. So here are the controls for the macerating toilet. So the okay. toilet itself macerates things before they even get to the black tank. And that outlet is on the inverter as well. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, plenty of storage under the bathroom sink as if you needed more storage. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to show back there, that white thing, that is a waterless trap. Oh, you love to show those. So why, again, is that important? For for winterizing. There's no water in it, so uh -huh. in the winter, the water can't freeze, so you don't have to think about winterizing. Okay, so it's a good thing for winterizing. Yeah. So now, up above, we've got a, uh, I believe this is a fantastic fan. I'm going to get it going here. Okay. Um, and since this is a macerating toilet, interesting fact here, that normally you don't want to run the fan when you're flushing the toilet in an RV because huh. it'll pull fumes up. But a macerating toilet, it won't do that. Yes. Okay. So now we're in the galley. The galley. All right. So here's the microwave. It's convection. So you can bake me cookies. Uh, healthy quinoa cookies. Sure. Bleh. <laughs> um, here's All right. the fridge. fridge. This is not a compressor fridge. No, but it is a three-way with the auto changeover. So mm -hmm. battery 120 or propane. Okay. And it should manage that itself. Okay. But it sure would be nice to see that as a compressor fridge nudge hint, nudge hint. leisure travel <laughs> um and there's the freezer decent size there yes now across the hall from that we have let's see ah leisure is rack. they're sort of known for these pull out pantries yes and i would love something like this i imagine that would be really functional storage for your food for your food pantry yeah because a lot of food items aren't terribly wide right you could see them well and look it doesn't hit the fridge i, I wanted that shot just yeah. to show that it's not going to smack into the fridge and rack up your door all right so now here's some storage this is the most brilliant storage ever in an rv in history it's storage for the garbage good grief <laughs> you don't have to have it out anywhere Slight exaggeration it's got a lid so there won't be any fumes you can take the whole thing to the dumpster with you oh my gosh this is the most brilliant thing i've ever seen in an rv ever it's it's a nice feature i don't know if it's brilliant <laughs> but i i well you don't have to have a can out oh there's the pac-man countertop oh the sink get, cover yeah and a fairly deep single bowl sink this is mm. kind of a standard leisure thing i think yes the big sinks um i like that stainless steel backsplash they've got over there it adds to that modern feel don't mm -hmm. you think and there's another outlet and oh look oh yes it's on the inverter that's every outlet we've seen so far I think so. has been on the inverter that's yes. kind of interesting yep. there's another multiplex control panel um, and again, you can put those anywhere. Right. Uh, so now a standard two burner propane cooktop, 
Nothing uh, nothing too fancy there. Yep. It'll get the job done. Another one of those awning style windows in the back. Oh, but we're going down to the ca- to the drawers. Yep. Uh, oh, I guess it comes with a drawer organizer. How nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Organization is good in these things. Yeah. But I like how their ca- their drawers latch. They're real tight latching. So. Yeah, I don't know if you can you can kind of tell a little. You, yeah. She has to give a good tug on them to get but them But that's to a open. good thing. When you're driving along and these oh, drawers yeah. are heavily loaded, you want them to stay closed. Yep. All right, so now up above, um, there's that awning window, and up above is a little storage cabinet. We would probably use that for like plates or something like that. Yeah, sure. Mugs. It's not terribly tall. This one next to it, though, we would call it the media cabinet. It's got the Mm -hmm. Blu-ray player and uh, remotes. Right. And this is where I would put the headlamps because that's just (laughs) Because that's what we do in Lance, in the media cabinet. (laughs) So we have to do it the same in every... All right, this is the mother of all countertop extensions. Yeah, it's really deep. I don't know if that angle does it justice but boy that's going to be handy when you're cooking in the rig if you've ever cooked in a small rig you appreciate little details like that yep um now there is a tv here in the in the kitchen or galley and then there's storage above and oddly enough there's more storage below i don't think we got a shot of that so now we're in sort of the uh, the dinette area. Yep. Um, and we've got a, it's lagoon. L a g u n. That's the mount for the table. Yes. Right. And it rotates. It swivels. It's it's kind. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> you have a lot of options for how it's you very set up your glidey. table. Glidey. Yes. <laughs> Glidy is the word I would use. All right. And then it does extend. So this is sort of the, what your dining configuration would be. Right. To across. There you go. Yeah. And you'll notice how those front cab seats didn't turn. Yeah. Well, you could. But. So what I'm showing there is another bracket for the table. So you can take the table from the front and put it in the back with the beds. And I wanted to see what that would look like and how that would work. So I actually did it. Um, because that's one of the selling points of these tables. And there you go. Oh, very nice. So if you wanted to play cards in bed, mm-hmm. there you go. Ta-da! Ooh. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, tighten all table oh, bolts no. <laughs> before resting objects on the table. <laughs> um, so is that table storage or what it, are we It was at? covered with felt. And so, so I'm kind of thinking that's where they meant for you to keep the table. Oh. Okay. All right. So now back up front, there's a little more storage as if you needed it over uh, <laughs> over the, we'll call it the corners going towards the... On both sides. On more both sides. symmetry. Yeah. And uh, here's Dean right below there. You see that uh, touch screen? That's Dean kind of telling me all about the uh, the multiplex panel. All right. So this has things like even auto generator start. Like you can schedule the generator start at a time or on voltage. Okay. Um, you can run, you know, all the lights, obviously. Anything that doesn't have its own discrete switch, like the macerator. You wouldn't want to run the macerator from there. That could make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's all there on that panel. It's all there on that panel. Okay. And so now I'm going up into the cab. And they didn't really try to integrate the cab. To into the dinette or yeah. to the back. There's yeah. a, a pretty good step down. And that really changes changes everything on these Fords. Because otherwise you're sitting way below the table. Yeah, and that the driver's seat doesn't swivel anyway. Right, so. right. It would only be the passenger seat. So yeah. they didn't even try. And, and that's I, fine. I, I give them a thumbs up for that. Yeah. So to close off the cab, though, we do have curtains. Um, the plus side of curtains is that they are quiet when you're underway. There's not going to be any rattling, and there's nothing to store. They self-store right there back in kind of the B-pillar area. Yes. Um, These connected in the front with with magnets. When you can... Mm, I just wasn't pulling... You can do it. You can do it. Ta-da! (laughs) Aww. And the other thing to show you in the cab is they recover the seats in just ultra squishy. They were very nice. Yes. I think this color is called coal. Oh my gosh, look! What? Shoe storage! Oh, so yes. you can store your shoes and not track sand into your rig? This is the second most brilliant <laughs> thing I have ever seen. And look mm. below! More shoe storage! Yes, yeah, less convenient. If, if you have your shoes just out, then you can grab them easier. Or you could trip on them easier, which is what I usually do with your shoes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start showing you some mechanical things. Um, here we go. So under this, I had to remove the garbage can. So there's the water pump. That's where you'll find that. Um, And right behind it is the suburban heater. Now that is a ducted heater. And above that 
is the back of the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus. And then some uh, winterization valves, shutoff valves, that sort of thing that you'll need, especially for that recirculating feature. So that's all right there. So now here I'm showing you some of the ducts for the heat that distributes the heat more evenly, makes it more comfortable. So now here is the air conditioner. You'll notice this is not ducted. So that means the air is all gonna come out of that one point. Um, but what you don't see on there are controls. So it's controlled with the wall thermostat, which is good because it means you can set a temperature. All right, and there's another fan. So there's two fans, one in the bathroom and one out here. Right, you could have one blowing in, one blowing out. Okay. That would exchange the air super rapidly in that and coach. There's the skylight. I think they use that in a few different models, don't they? They do. That's in, uh, it's in many of their coaches, and it works the same in this as it does in all their others. And I just left it open because that's how they had it. So now here is sort of the indoor control center. Um, there is a control panel for the GoPower solar system. That's the uh, Xantrex control for the inverter. And then the Truma AquaGo plug right there. And, I all right. and that, those are all right above the door. Is that where we're Yeah, going? Yeah, and that's otherwise not very useful space typically. So I like that they put it there. This I actually like a whole lot. That is a, you know, a lot of coaches to cut off the battery. You'll have like a, a little switch and a relay somewhere. This is a solid bang. It's a mechanical switch. You cut it off right there. Huh. You're not going to have your dog kick that off on accident, oh, got it. for okay. example. All right. Got all right. So this is something I recommend everyone look, 1,387 pounds. So you got all that storage. You've got 1,387 pounds okay. that you can fill it with. All right. You should look at that sticker in every coach. It's going to be in every coach you ever look at. And now we're going under. Yeah, well, well you're yeah. going under. <laughs> and it's it's kind of tight under there. It's uh, so what I am showing you here. I am under the back. That is the I want to show all that welded or not welded, but bolted steel that's holding up the rear storage. Okay, that's a very large propane tank. And there's the rear differential, so that kind of gives you your bearings. That's looking forward now. Mm -hmm. But one thing I did want to show on here, this is all just mechanical stuff, no water lines, three leafs in that spring. So that's a heavy-duty oh. suspension there. And in DOS Bus, we actually added a third leaf to our springs, oh, okay. and that helped the ride. Good. All right, so that mm -hmm. is going to be the black tank. All right. And it's it's very square, which Where means... Where are we? Where's that black tank? Is that in the uh, middle? Driver's side okay. midship. Got it. And then there's the gray tank sort of behind it. And they're squarish. I'm like, wow. Oh, is, wow. Yeah. You are tight. You almost got stuck under there, too. Yeah, I did. I got a little nervous there. <laughs> too much of those quinoa cookies, I oh, think. <laughs> oh, yum. <laughs> Anyway, and so that's, uh, I didn't see any water lines under there, but those tanks are not insulated or heated, so... Oh, and you might have seen the sold sign. Well, this is the couple that actually bought this coach that we just showed you. That's right. We want to thank them very much for letting us crawl all yes. over their rig. Yes, and their story is actually very interesting. They are selling everything and they're going to full time. So you might be seeing them on the Leisure Travel Vans blog. Okay, so that's going to do it for uh, this review of the Leisure Travel Vans Wonder Rear Twin Bed. So what did you think? We liked it. We liked it. It was a nice coach. You've been wanting it to me for three years. Yeah. This is what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Your Tour de France biking career. Well, I don't Here's know the contract. <laughs> the bikes go in the back and we're good to go. Uh, Sign with my beautiful Leisure Travel Van van and it's yours. I think Steph may have something to say about this. Steph, help! Right. It's easier to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it a, for 25 years. Okay, this is I'm going to take the pen. I'm going to take the pen from these two. I'm interrupting and we'll talk after. Yeah, thanks right. for coming though. Thanks for coming out. Right. Thanks you so guys. much. Thanks, Jane. Great coach. Okay, thank you. We See have you later. We're very proud of it. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.